It's my favorite time of the month again, and I am so excited. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good, and welcome back to Tumi Akalina! Calm down. Calm down. Oh no, my hat! My hat! Welcome back! It's November's edition of TBR Cluedo. Let's not talk about my background. I'm not ready to talk about it yet. Basically, I have rearranged my entire room, hence why all my books, literally all my books are on here. It's a whole thing right now. It's been a whole thing. We don't need to discuss it. I'm not ready to face this yet. So I'm not gonna try and find my TBR for last month to show you, but I will tell you that I have read or started all of the books. So out of the six books that I had on October's TBR Cluedo, I have read five and I am about 100 pages into hashtag murder trending, which is my Patreon book club book for the month. By the time this video is up I will have finished this because our live show is on Saturday night and this is going up on Sunday night. So I already have read it, discussed it with my Patreon book club, we had a great time so we don't need to be worried. I will by the time this video goes up have read all of the books. October! Listen everyone, it was a bit of a funny month for me. The seasonal depression started to simmer away, you know, started to stew. But we're saying no! We're turning the hob off! <laughs> Uh, yeah, I had a bit of a funny month in October, but TBR Clue just makes me so excited for next month. Filming this makes me, I'm just ready for November. TikTok bitches, these next few days need to just go and it needs to be November. So yeah, November and December are about to be my bitch. I'm about, listen, I'm manifesting it. I don't really believe in manifestation, but I'm manifesting it. November, December are gonna be like my best months of the year. We're gonna fucking crush it. So, not much housekeeping. I've already been speaking for ages, but not much housekeeping this month. The only things to say are if you watched my all my unread books video, you will know that there were two new prompts for TBR Cluedo arising from that. Books that had been recommended that you guys said you had loved from my unread TBR and books that you guys said you had hated from my unread TBR. The magnifying glass has always been recommended by the viewer, so that is just going to become the loved it prompt, the audience loved it prompt. And um, I got rid of one of the numbered prompts to make way for the audience hated it prompt that's going to be added in. I got rid of the prompt book with all the letters of your first name in the title because after watching booktubers try to find books all the letters of their first name in the title in my most recent booktuber battle I said that is not for me. I'm not putting myself through that stress honey. I'm not putting myself through that stress. So that is the the prompt that's been axed. I ain't staying here. Sorry. I love ya but I ain't staying here. So without further ado let's just get into the roles for November. Okay, time for roll one. Number seven, that is brown. Oh, in non-fiction. Okay. Two or two or four. So I think since these are both two away, I'm just gonna use one of the twos and go to one of these. It just depends which one. I don't know what to choose. Okay, I'm gonna go the pink one because I like the pink color. That is number 24, which is a book over 400 pages. <laughs> oh no, we're not off to a good start. So prop number one was a non-fiction over 400 pages. <laughs> oh no. This has now gone downhill. As someone who, listen, I haven't been reading a lot of non-fiction, this is not the best prop to get. I didn't even really have a lot of non-fictions over 400 pages on my TBR, but the one I have decided to read this month is The Devil in the White City by Eric Larson. This is, well, it's like 480 pages, but a lot of that is notes, so I think it's about 430 pages. This is non-fiction about the Chicago World Fair in 1983 and a serial killer there and an architect. I think we follow both an architect at the World Fair and a serial killer who, from what I know, like set up a hotel. I watched a, a BuzzFeed Unsolved, well it wasn't BuzzFeed Unsolved, it was like a video on the BuzzFeed Unsolved channel that wasn't actual BuzzFeed Unsolved. Anyway, I watched a video about this where a girl reconstructed the hotel that the serial killer made and people came to stay at it for the World Fair and it had like hidden rooms, trap doors, all of this stuff. And yeah, I'm excited to read some more non-fiction. I love historical non-fiction and I've, I've been told it kind of reads like fiction, like it's so captivating. I've also heard that the audiobook is good for this so I may try and get that and read along. Okay, roll two. 
Number one, which is green. Oh, in fantasy. Okay. Let's roll these. A three and a three or a six. Okay, where can I get to in that? Uh, one, two, three, no. What, uh, <laughs> one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I can't get to any of them. One, two, three, four, five. Why are they all five away? One, two, three. What? Uh. Sometimes I'm blind to stuff when filming this. Like when I'm editing it, I can realize a route I could have gone. But when I'm filming it, I just like, I, I my mind goes blank. Oh wait, I could just use the threes. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go. Uh, one, two, three, then. And that is number 11, which is an ebook or an audiobook. Okay, next was a fantasy book that is an ebook or an audiobook. And I actually have a lot of like shortish fantasy books saved on script. I really like short fantasy books as audiobooks. Actually, do I? Have I read that many or do I just like the idea of it? It's a lot of fantasies. And when I feel the fantasy, it is my reality. Do I just like what it promises? <laughs> anyway, for this, I'm going to be reading In the Watchful City by S. Trey Lu. I've followed this author on Twitter for a long time and their tweets just made me really interested in this book. So all I know about this is a fantasy world where surveillance is a big part of this world. Like surveillance is how the government survives and kind of how the society operates. And I think an unexpected visitor arrives, which causes one of the surveillance people to kind of reconsider this whole scheme. The author uses a, a, a as pronouns and they, them, theirs pronouns. And the, I think one of the main protagonists in this book uses a, a, a as pronouns. So I'm really excited to read that. I don't think I've ever read a book with a character who uses a, a, a as pronouns. So I'm very excited for that. I think it's just gonna be like a really vivid fantasy to see so I'm very excited for this one to be on my TBR. Okay roll three. Got number two that is purple or oh, in contemporary. Okay let's roll this. We've got a two and a three. I don't really have any contemporary that I want to read this month but I do have a romance so I think I'm just gonna go one two three and let's see what this is. That's number six which is something with white on the cover. Okay, roll three was a romance with white on the cover. And for this, I'm gonna be reading Actra A.G. Frown. There's white bitches, there is white. No, it's true. Oh, it's true. This is the final book in the Brown Sisters trilogy, which is like this romance trilogy. I'm sure you all know about it. And I'm so excited to read the last one. I've really loved the first two books in this. Tally Hibbert is probably my favorite romance author. And I'm just so excited to read this final book. I've heard so many good things about it. And throughout the series, because you kind of see all the other sisters like throughout the other books a little bit, Eve has been a character I've been so excited to read her story. Oh. Nope, just fell out. Because she's the younger sister, she's kind of like a bit scatterbrained, like a bit all over the place. And I'm just really, really excited to read this. So I'm gonna be reading this month. I feel like this is a great one to be on the TBR. Okay, roll four. Oh my God, I'm getting nervous. I don't think this has been a very good TBR Kudo so far. Okay, <laughs> number four is pink. Okay, we're up here in horror. Let's see how many we roll. Oh, a four and a five. We could go anywhere. Uh, should we see if we can read a horror though? Mm, I don't know if I'm in the mood for horror. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know what to read. I don't know what to go for. I didn't really have any horrors on my TBR. Maybe I had a few actually. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. And that is number 20, which is a title with one word. Okay, and then we got the prompt, a horror book with one word in the title. And for this, I'm gonna be reading Lakewood by Megan Giddings, another audio book I'm gonna pick up. I don't know too much about this other than I think our main protagonist is kind of like in a very hard situation financially. And there's this offer to kind of move into this facility and be 
basically like a test subject for this kind of new scientific discovery and the horror ensues from there. I'm scared because any kind of like being tested on or sciencey horror I feel like is so scary to me. So I'm actually a little bit petrified, a little bit petrified. Petrified. <laughs> I think it's also weird. I've heard Kayla speak a lot about this. I have high hopes and I'm very excited to listen to the audiobook of this. Okay, time for roll five. We've got person number five. Oh my god, that's happened twice in a row where we've got the round that the number is. That is white. Where is white? Oh, here. Okay, let's see how many we roll. We've got three and a four. There's not really any magical realism so I want to read this month. So I might go back into fantasy. I might go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is number 22, which is a title with three words. Then we got a fantasy book with three words in the title. The word theme is continuing. <laughs> And this is actually the one I got my patrons to vote on. Again, I cannot hold up all of the options that I gave them because I don't know where these books are. The books are floating around in the ether of my house somewhere. If you don't know, every month my patrons vote on one round of Tea Bill Kudo and that ends up being our book club book for the Cat Tales Book Club, which is our book club name. So the options I gave them were The Gilded Walls by Roshani Chotsky, Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Baron, The Gilded Ones by Namina Fauna, Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim and A Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. And, and if I'm honest, I thought The Gilded Wolves or Six Crimson Cranes were going to win, but the winner by a landslide was Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bayron. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe that. I actually can't believe that. <laughs> I can't believe that. I actually can't believe that. I really wasn't expecting this, but I suppose it was a pretty big book like last year. All I know about this is the society where 200 years ago, Cinderella found her prince, but the fairy tale is over. The whole idea of this is there's a Cinderella ball when you turn a certain age in the society. And if you don't get a man at the ball, you're gone, sis. You're gone. <laughs> so I'm very intrigued. I heard a lot of buzz about this last year, but I haven't seen a lot of people like reading it since. But I'm very excited to read this and discuss it with my patrons. So if you want to join us, the link is always down below to come and join my patron. We have so much fun on the live shows. I do weekly, like a couple hour long live shows with them. Uh, we have a Discord where we chat together. There's loads and loads more benefits on my patron. So I'll leave the link down below. But this is our Cat Tales Book Club book for November, and I'm very excited. Okay. Okay, final roll. Person number three is red. Oh, here in historical. Let's see how many we roll. Whoa. We've got a two and a five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Woohoo! Okay, that is number 16, which is a book with four or more words in the title. How have we managed to get three prompts in a row all to do with how many words? are in the title. That's a bit boring. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> and then finally, our last prompt was a historical with four words in the title. Listen, I'm not very happy with the prompts we got this month. I feel like we got boring ones. Like, we didn't get... There's... Listen, the prompts are all in the description. There's some exciting prompts on there. They're a bit different. And we got three of them to do with how many words are in the title. Excuse me? Like, how did that even happen? This is totally unacceptable. I'm on my way. And I feel like the other prompts we've had before, I want some different prompts. Hopefully next month will be our month, but the book I'm gonna be reading for this, and some of you will know I've been very scared to read this book, it's gonna be The King of Crows by Libba Bray. Just cry with me, I don't think I'm ready, but we're gonna finally finish this series. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, so this is the Diviners series. I'm sure many of you know it's set in 1920s New York. We have this fantastical situation where these Diviners have special abilities. And um, here's the sitch. Like, I'm scared to finish this series because this book hasn't got very good reviews and it's quite long. It's like 500 and something pages. We're just gonna do it. We're just gonna finally do it. My hand has been forced. We're just gonna finally do it. I will be glad to finish this series up. Listen, I loved Lair of Dreams and The Diviners. The Diviners was four stars, Lair of Dreams five stars. Before the Devil Breaks You 2.5 stars, this is supposed to be even worse. So 
We'll see. We'll see where the situation takes us. But that is our last book on my TBR for this month. So this is my TBR Cluedo TBR for this month, plus the two audiobooks I'm going to be listening to. This comes out to 2,222 pages in total. Some actually quite longer books, I feel like. And this isn't even my TBR for the month. Like, I've got another book because I try need to try and read this month so there's lots more books i feel like november is going to need to be like a reading heavy month but i'm excited i am excited to read all of these books so let me know please if you've read any of these or the audiobooks what you thought of them even if you didn't like them let me know down below i would love to know <laughs> if you've gotten to the end of the video comment a bird or a hat emoji a bird or a hat or a chair any of those emojis down below if you've gotten to the end of this video. Thank you for watching as always. I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye!